YouTube family wanted to bring you a very uh, video I think will be very helpful for people that are looking for their boards it's holiday season and there's a lot of crazy deals going on so a lot of people are wondering what board should I get today I want to compare two boards for you the backfire G2T which is right here and I also want to compare the X-Way Pro X, X Way X1 Pro Riot for you so I'm gonna just go down a list of different things that you may want to consider and I'm probably gonna to have to break this video up into two videos because it's a lot to consider so the first thing that I want to talk about with these uh, boards here is deck when you're looking at skateboards there's a variety of different factors that go into when you talk about deck some boards use stiffer decks others use a more flexi deck and really there's no such thing as a which deck is better or worse for a rider but it's really about rider preference and I think another factor that determines whether or not you should have a flexi or stiff deck is also rider weight both of these boards here consider to have what's called stiffer decks the backfire G2T is made out of a maple uh, and wood type of composite and it has a tiny bit of flex to it but it's still considered a stiff um, deck and then when you look at the X-Way Pro Riot it has an even stiffer deck because and I'm going to talk about it a little bit more the batteries are actually inside of the deck itself so they have to make it stiff to protect the board when you talk about stiffer boards that generally means that it might impact ride comfort and what that means is flexi decks when you're riding and you're going over bumps they kind of flex a little bit and they go up and down and they kind of rock which kind of takes some of the pressure off of your knees and things like that when you're riding but the thing is if you are a heavier rider flexi decks run a greater risk of the enclosures on the bottom of the board a lot of boards have these enclosures on them and when they have enclosures like this if you're not careful when you're going over bumps and things like that they can scrape and hit uh, you can't see it fully but I have a couple of small nicks on my backfire G2T here but if this was a really flexi deck and I was going over bumps they really might scratch and hit something um, when I'm riding so they both have um, stiffer decks and so it kind of impacts comfort the next thing I want to talk about which is a perfect segue is wheels slash motors and when you look at these two boards here the backfire G2T has what's called hub motors and what that means is that the motors are actually in the back wheels and the back wheels are surrounded by polyurethane what that means is that the ride comfort is not going to be as comfortable as a board that uses four real wheels and where you'll really see the difference with that is is when you're riding if you go over bumps or things like that in the concrete you're going to feel it and then the board might even twitch a little bit in the back because it just doesn't absorb impact as well as a completely a board that has complete all four tires on it so this this particular board the backfire g2t comes in you can get two sets of wheels that i think is 96 millimeter wheels and then i also think 85 millimeter wheels um the larger the wheel that's going to improve your ride comfort however you're going to lose a little bit of torque a little bit of acceleration and you're also going to lose a little bit of range so you have to decide what you want for yourself the x-way x1 pro riot utilizes belt motors that means that you have actually four real wheels and what happens is by having four real wheels it kind of helps with the ride quality because it, it eats up bumps and cracks a little bit better than a hub motor board um, when you talk about motors and wheels a lot of people think that automatically because you have a belt driven board that you're going to have more torque and more acceleration and while that's the case on some boards it's really about how the manufacturer sets up the ESC and the power distribution when you're accelerating and things like that so I can't sit up here and tell you that oh this board is going to be faster I can tell you that the X-Way X1 um, is much faster than this backfire though I can't tell you that the acceleration and the torque you can definitely feel the difference um, I will be able to say that on there the 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 difference be also another difference between when you talk about belt motors and then also hub motors hub motors because they're more sealed um, it's a lot less maintenance they don't get as dirty things like that so for somebody who's looking to buy a board and you're like look I'm not trying to be sitting on the weekends cleaning stuff doing a bunch of different things you might want a hub motor board but if you're somebody that wants the ride quality you like the sound of the belt driven motors they're a lot louder people hear you they kind of get out of your way and you don't mind doing a little bit more maintenance you might like that because on belt driven boards you might have to replace um, the belts if when they get worn out you might have to adjust the motors to either tighten or constrict them based on if the the belts um, expand over time which they do which is normal um, so with the x-ray x1 pro I have 85 millimeter wheels on it right now and I'll be honest with you even though both of these decks are really stiff I would say that the ride quality is a little bit better on the x-ray because those real wheels they make a world of difference and in one of my other videos I was talking about how I thought people were over exaggerating 
the ride quality of, of wheels when you have four real wheels I'm like can they really be that much better and I'll be honest with you the ride quality is a lot better when you talk about four real wheels um, the x-way wheels are a little bit smaller so I feel like it kind of helps with the acceleration and torque and things like that as well so that's the difference kind of the difference when you talk about um, the motors and the wheels on these boards the next thing I want to talk about is battery and this is really important because the battery determines how far you're able to get and things like that now when you talk about battery there are so many different factors that impact um, what you might want to get just gonna be honest with you heavier riders are not going to get the amount of range that lighter riders are able to get most board companies say hey this board to get you 15 16 miles right but when you talk about real world riding when you talk about riding it at, at, at a good speed um, so that you're safe when you talk about rider weight if you got heels to go up that range is going to go down just being honest I get I'm 225 I get about 10 miles on the boards when I'm riding so just keep that in mind so the heavier you are um, you're going to get a little bit less range in like lighter riders especially if you're riding um, aggressively so the backfire G2T has um, its batteries outside of the board it actually has the battery inside of casings um, well the battery in the ESC in, in the casing so you can actually see those the batteries and those things like that on the bottom of the board it's not a bad thing it looks cool I actually like the way it looks a little bit it looks pretty you know refreshing and cool like that but like I mentioned earlier if you're driving uh, or riding it can get nicked up and scuffed up if you're hitting different things um, with the backfire G2T I think they say that you can get a range of up to 15 miles I get about 10 miles when I'm riding on the board so keep that in mind with the battery um, I think the backfire G2T I'm not a battery guru or expert by any means if you're watching the video and you know a whole lot about batteries you can put a comment below and hook the people up but I think the backfire G2T has a higher um, um, wattage rate I'm, 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 I'm drawing a blank I'm gonna put some words on the thing so that means that hypothetically this board could get a little bit more mileage out of it than the X-Way X1 Pro now the X1 X-Way Pro the battery and the ESC are encased inside of the actual skateboard itself so you don't see anything and if I had the the type of X-Way that didn't have the belt motors and I had just a regular kit it's really almost hard to tell that this is a electric skateboard because it looks like a regular skateboard um, the benefits of you know the 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 batteries and the ESC being inside the board is that it kind of protects the board against I guess more water and dirt and things like that you may be a little bit more protected even though you shouldn't be riding these in the rain the other thing that's pretty cool is that if you're riding somewhere where you may not supposed to have a skateboard that might help you out because people can't really see it um, as much um, one of the downsides that I hear some people talk about about everything being encased inside the board is that if something goes wrong with the board it's probably going to be a little bit harder to do maintenance on it like if the, something's wrong with the battery or the ESC because it's it's literally hidden away um, I actually had to re, um, send one of the motors back on a G2T to backfire and they they did their thing did a wonderful job and get it back to me but I had to take off the ESC disconnect it and it was a pretty easy job to do um, if something were to happen like that on the on the on the riot I don't know what might happen interested in seeing that video about me actually insta installing the hub motor I'll put a link up here so that you will be able to see it so you know like I was saying the X-Way X1 Pro has the ESC and the battery encased inside of the board in the deck and you don't see it you don't see it here whereas on the backfire G2T you actually see the, the ESC and the battery because it's hanging below the board and it's really not a bad or a good thing it's really about rider preference and what you're trying to get out of the board um, but that's what you got there really quickly the last thing I want to talk about in this particular video is the ESC the electronic speed control um, and what that basically is it's like the brain of the board when you have the remote the, it, the ESC and the remote communicate with each other so if you're accelerating push the throttle that's how the board knows to go faster or brake if you're pulling back so the ESC on the backfire G2T is is what you get it's a hobby wing ESC they're pretty good ESC's and um, very good solid braking good acceleration it's really smooth to me almost a little too smooth and it's kind of like it's so smooth that it's like sometimes you wish can you just be a little bit more aggressive when I'm throttling up um, so but the thing with the x-way is this ESC it comes it x-way comes with an app so you can actually adjust so many different things with utilizing the ESC and the app 
you can adjust so many things using the ESC in the app. So you can adjust how fast you want to accelerate when you accelerate each of the gears, first, second, third, and fourth gear. You can turn on turbo mode if you want turbo mode. You can um, decide how fast you want to break the braking curve to be. Uh, what else can you do? You can look at you know how much more mileage you have on the board based on battery. A lot of different things that you can see in the app, which makes it pretty amazing. Um, and really, just to be honest about it, it's a step up um, when you talk about the ESC. I heard that Backfire is coming out with a an app, but you never know when that's going to come out because creating these apps is not something that's easy to do um, because you can really mess things up. So I don't know when they're going to actually put that out. So with the ESC, like you get a lot of customization. So as a writer, if you want to really customize how hard it breaks, or if you want to customize, you know, how hard it accelerates. And to me, one of the things that's been great about that is I can really adjust it to how I need it to ride. Because as a heavier rider, I have more factors that play into when I'm riding about how much range I'll get, how far the, the board are going, things like that. So I like really being able to tweak things a whole lot um, utilizing that particular ESC and the X-Way uses a very beefed up hobby wing ESC It's a hobby wing like this, but it's beefed up because they have the app and all this different customization and things like that That you can do to the board Both of them are great boards. Um, I don't think you can go wrong on any of the boards I prefer the acceleration and the torque on the X-Way But I'm going to talk about some additional factors that you may want to consider when you talk about which board do you want to get um, coming up but as always, I see it at the top because the bottom is too crowded. I'll throw that link to the other video over here. Let's get to it.